Hey guys, good morning. It's Man here, and today I wanted to show you some of the productive things I'm gonna be doing today. It's not like like productive, productive. It's just kind of a little vlog showing you some things I'm gonna be doing. That's all. So basically, it's eight o'clock right now, and I'm gonna go for a walk. All I did, I didn't film myself getting ready because I was just like, you know, like put on socks, put on my shorts and a t-shirt, and then I brush my teeth. And I like rinse my face with a cleanser and then I moisturize and then put some lip balm on. And I'm just gonna head out now. Probably gonna listen to like a playlist of like a podcast or something while I do it. Hey guys, I'm out on my walk. Hey guys, today I'm going to be making some crepes for breakfast. So I thought I'd show you how to make them. First, you're gonna start by putting one cup of flour. Now we're going to add one fourth teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of sugar, and you can make this like a little heaped. Now we're just going to whisk the dry ingredients very quick, and that's it. So now we're going to grab two eggs and crack them into the bowl and whisk that as well. Before you crack your eggs though, just like to save time, take two tablespoons of butter and put it in the skillet and then we're gonna melt it. So as it's melting, we can crack the eggs and whisk them in. As you can see, we have the butter melting on the pan right now. Now whisk the eggs into the dry mixture. It might be a little tough, but just try your best. So we're gonna start with one cup milk, but the batter needs to be very like liquidy for crepes because they're very thin. So just add a quarter. So um, out of your like one cup, just add a little bit to the flour egg mixture and then whisk, whisk it so it's just like a little bit easier to whisk. So I'm whisking the mixture with adding a little bit of milk each time to make it glossier and get rid of all these lumps. See, now the butter is all melted. As you can see, the mixture is thinner now that we've added more milk. And now we're gonna add a little bit more after we added the whole cup and see how nice it is. We're gonna add the butter in the skillet to the mixture. And then you're gonna whisk that real good. The As the warm butter goes into the mixture, you gotta whisk it really quickly so it doesn't like cook the egg. So the crepe batter is now ready. This is what your consistency should look like. As you can see, it's pretty loose. And as you're putting it in the skillet, if it's not as like thin as you want it to be, just add just a drop of water to it as much as you need to get it to that perfect consistency. I washed some strawberries and then I have a banana and I'm gonna slice these to prepare them for the crepes while they're cooking. First thing to do before you pour the batter is to make sure the skillet is hot and just put your hand a little bit over it and make sure it's hot. Then we're gonna grab about one third cup of the batter and then we're gonna start from the sides and we're gonna put it in. And then this is what it looks like in the pan. We're gonna wait for it. As you can see, it's coming off the sides and now we're gonna flip it. Ta-da! Um, hi guys. Now that I've made the crepes, I'm gonna go take a shower and then, and then I'm gonna come back and eat breakfast. Now it's time to assemble the crepe. So I have all my cut fruit here, some strawberries and bananas, some Nutella and some powdered sugar to top First, it off. I spread some Nutella on half of it. Now I arrange the strawberries and bananas on top of the Nutella and I'm going to fold it. First we're going to fold it in half and then like this so it's a bit like of a pocket and you can eat it easily. And now we sprinkle some powdered sugar on top. Now I'm eating my breakfast. Hey guys, um, I just finished eating breakfast and I'm going to just like do some cleaning now and then probably going to do some homework and yeah. So right now I'm in my room and I'm just going to like clean up a little bit, put my clothes like away and then 
and then just like dust all the surfaces. I'm also going to dust the desk that just got put in by my dad because I'm incapable of putting a desk in. Like he just assembled it, so I'm just going to like dust off my side table and my dresser and then that. And then, yeah. I put my succulents on the windowsill to get some sunlight. I got this mini one too. So I finished straightening up my room and now I'm just gonna, I'm just going to like clean up the area that I do with my homework in because it's such a mess right now from the whole week. So I'm just gonna organize it and then I'm gonna start on This my is like the whole like mess that I've just like made on the bed and yeah. I cleaned up the whole bed and then I organized all my books, pencils, here my glasses, and then that's my water on this chair or on this side table, what am I saying? And then I have my charger over there. And yeah, I just like straightened everything up and that's okay, it. Okay guys, now that my workspace and everything's all clean, I'm going to be just doing my homework, which is like, I'm going to be researching and then I'm going to be taking notes. And I'll check back with you guys in a bit. This is your reminder to hydrate. One thing I like to do to help me stay organized is to order my classes right here in the order that I take them. So they're like really, I know where all my homework is and then I just check every single To make sure that I didn't forget any assignments. Hey guys, um, I just finished. Well, okay, I didn't really finish, but I took notes on all my sources that I found and then I just might try to find some more later and I also have like some Spanish homework and some math homework so I just did research for now because that's probably what I'm going to be doing this morning and now it's like 11 o'clock I'm just gonna probably take a break or play a game or do something else I don't know <laughs> something that I always love to do um, before I start working is to like write everything I need to do in my planner. This is just like a regular weekly and monthly planner. Um, it has, all, it has all the tabs of the months. I got it at Target, and of course, um, we're at September, so it has these little squares. But then it also has room for like you to write your um things for the day. I usually write my homework here, and I write all the due dates. And this just really helps me stay organized for online school and keep track of my assignments and when they're due.